Thursday, November 16th. Now today I'm going to go up to Narrowsburg, New York to see um, Randy Steckert, retired herpetologist. Randy has done a tremendous amount of study of the of the rattlesnakes in the Ramapo Mountains. We have a, a good lot of them, you see. And uh, here, in fact, in John Furman's book, Timber Rattlesnakes in Vermont, New York, we got a photograph in the back of the book here of, um, of Randy. Right there, that's Randy Steckert. See if you can see that. He's holding a, a yellow morph rattlesnake that's uh, about 54 inches long, close to five pounds, maybe six pounds in weight. And that's in Southern New York. That's in the Ramapos. This photo is taken right in, in our local Ramapo region. You see, the thing about the rattlesnake is when, when I was a boy, my uncles in the village used to say, the only good rattlesnake is a dead rattlesnake. Huh. Yeah, well, our Ramapos, there's a lot of proposals for a lot of building uh, in the Ramapo Mountains. It's, it's open land, they say, and condos all over the place. Can you imagine that? Well, the rattlesnake may be the species that saves our Ramapo Mountains. You see, because the rattlesnake is a threatened species in New York State, and um, it's protected. So where the rattlesnake is, you you really can't build. And, uh, well, that's what we're hoping for. We, we think there's a, a sizable den, according to Randy's memory and local Ramapo Indian folklore, uh, right there in the same area. And only Randy has pretty good idea where it might be. Randy can't uh, hike in the woods anymore. He's beyond that. But uh, I'm going to sit with him. got to try to figure out where this is. And then we're going to go looking for that den just to verify it. And then maybe in the spring, we'll verify they're moving in and out and so forth. Yeah, rattlesnake is uh, could well be the protector of our Ramapo Mountains. Now, when my dad uh, was water commissioner for the village of Hilburn years ago, he used to wear a sidearm because there were a lot of snakes up there, rattlesnakes, copperheads, that sort of thing. And I asked him if he ever shot any, and he said to me, no, you only shoot what you eat. Oh, so I asked him, did he ever eat a rattlesnake? And he said, well, yeah, once when I was a young man, I did. Texture is kind of like a, a scallop. But you know, snakes eat mice, and so what makes a mouse can make a snake. And I don't care to eat what somewhere along the way made the mouse. Hmm. Yeah. So let's hope that uh, Randy's collective memory and uh, and our field work can verify the rattlesnakes up there, because then what makes a snake could save a mountain. <laughs> we'll do another one tomorrow. See you then.